so we are off of tadpole hunting. Film something like this. Huh? You should have made a movie of this. Do you think I have my camera for no are reason? Are you filming? <laughs> I thought you were just taking pictures. <laughs> Those are just for the... Oh, oh, look at... Wow! Oh, oh, look at the tadpoles! Nola, these are baby frogs. <gasps> Those are going to be froggies. Baby we're frogs. finding them some. Baby frogs. Look, there's tons of them in here. Yeah, baby frogs, Nola. Oh my gosh, Mommy, look! You got one! Pop them in! Frogs are friends. I think that's good. What do you think? Nice. Oh, Look at them. Look at them in there. Lots of them. Oh, there's a big Whoa. one. Look at a big one. Big ah. <laughs> yucky. No, not yucky. Look at them all. Not yucky. Funny. No. Frogs are friends. Not food. That's right. uh, baby. baby frogs. I see Did you get a bunch of them in there, sissy? Yeah. Should we get a group of mud too? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. And some uh of their little leaves and stuff that they're eating in there. Look at We're gonna make an awesome little frog habitat. We're gonna take some of their leaves, some of their water. Oh, and a nice stick. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Them. Whoa! Frog. They're tadpoles. They're baby frogs. Baby frogs. Baby no, frogs. We'll Look. We're gonna watch them grow up, and then we'll release them. Hello. No. So how's the tadpole hunt go? Um, today I'm getting ready our tadpole habitat for our frog study this spring. We caught all of our tadpoles and we've got them transferred to a nice little jar here. Um, what, what you need to make sure when you have tadpoles is that you have something for them to climb up on once they start to become frogs. So a stick or um, leaves, things that they can actually get out of the water or they will drown. Um, and they need to eat greens, so we usually feed them kale, um, and we give them grass and all kinds of good stuff. Um, but mostly kale or a dark leafy green. We've got these fun toys for the kids. Um, the frog life cycle. My kids just love life cycles of every like animal we can find. Uh, these are actually from insect lore, but they also have some from safari. Um, we've got this cute little tail of a tadpole early reader. We've got this starting life um, frog book and this is a really nicely illustrated um, look how adorable this is. It's got the different little tabs. My kids have really enjoyed this. We got it from the library. Um, we also have this book um, and this we actually use for um, different animal studies that we do. Um, it's all about the different kingdoms of animals. So it's called Tree of Life, the Incredible Biodiversity um, on Earth. And it starts from, you know, fungi and it goes to plants, animals, invertebrates, fish. It's got them all. And it's really a wonderful, beautifully illustrated book for the frogs. You know, it's got one page on 
amphibians, but this is a really great book that you can use with so many different animal studies um, and animal classifications. So there we go. Um, our little tadpoles are going to turn into frogs. <laughs> They'll turn into tadpoles with legs, then froglets, and then frogs, and they will be released back into the wild. But this is such a fun activity to do with kids. I mean, my kids, this is probably the third time that we've raised tadpoles, and they just love it. It never gets old. And let me tell you, the toddler is going crazy for it this year. So give it a try. Anytime there's like a stagnant pool of water in the springtime, you're going to find tadpoles, depending on your location. So give it a whirl, have fun with it, and yeah, make an awesome unit study out of it. See you guys later.